Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. In the fierce competition in the global chip industry, European chip giant ST Microelectronics recently announced an important decision to cooperate with Shanghai Huahong, China's second largest chip foundry, to hand over the production of its automotive chips to the latter. This move not only reveals ST Microelectronics' high attention to the Chinese market, but also reflects that cooperation and strategic adjustments have become the norm in the global chip supply chain. As one of the most competitive fields in the world, the Chinese automobile market has seen an increasingly fierce price war in recent years. In particular, the sharp price cuts of new energy vehicles have further driven down the price of fuel vehicles and also plunged the automotive chip industry into a vortex of price wars. It is reported that under the pressure of the Chinese analog chip market, the U.S. chip company Texas Instruments had to significantly cut prices. Even so, its prices are still higher than those of Chinese local chips, which shows the cruelty of the price war. Faced with such a severe market environment, ST Microelectronics chose to follow up on the price war and find effective ways to reduce production costs. In this context, the low-cost advantage of Chinese chip foundries is particularly prominent, making it an ideal choice for ST Microelectronics. Outsourcing automotive chip production to Chinese chip foundries can not only reduce costs, but also effectively avoid the uncertainty risks in the global chip market and ensure stable sales in the Chinese market. This decision by ST Microelectronics is not only a recognition of China's chip foundry capabilities, but also a microcosm of the changes in the global chip industry. In fact, China's chip foundries are rising rapidly, not only winning more and more overseas orders, but also continuously narrowing the gap with their overseas counterparts in terms of technology. Take SMIC as an example. It has jumped from the world's fifth largest chip foundry to the third place, and the number of Chinese companies entering the top 10 global chip foundries is also increasing. With the rise of new energy vehicles, the automotive chip market has undergone significant changes. The number of chips used in new energy vehicles is as high as 1,000, while the number of chips used in fuel vehicles is about 300. In this case, new energy vehicles have become a growth point for automotive chips. New energy vehicles require a large number of automotive chips, and this market is mainly in the Chinese market. In 2023, the Chinese market sold 60% of the world's new energy vehicles. China is also the world's largest automobile market, and the Chinese market sells one-third of the world's cars. In this case, Many automotive chip companies must seize China's rapidly developing market. The Chinese automobile market is the most competitive market in the world. In recent years, the domestic automobile market has been in constant price wars, which have been particularly fierce this year. New energy vehicles have been drastically reduced in price, prompting fuel vehicles which have already been greatly reduced in price, to further reduce prices, thus forcing automotive chips to start a price war. It is reported that the U.S. chip company Texas Instruments has to drastically reduce prices by 90% under the pressure of Chinese analog chips, but the price is still higher than that of Chinese chips, highlighting the fierceness of the price war of automotive chips. Faced with such a situation, SD Microelectronics must follow up. In the case of a large-scale follow-up price war, 
reducing production costs, has become ST Microelectronics' choice. Obviously, the production costs of Chinese chip foundries are lower than those of chip foundries in the United States, Europe, and Taiwan, China. It is understandable that ST Microelectronics will hand over automotive chips to Chinese chip foundries for production. In addition, SD Microelectronics also takes into account the changes in the global chip market, especially the measures taken by certain countries from time to time. ST Microelectronics can avoid these impacts and ensure its sales in the Chinese market by handing over its chips to Chinese chip foundries for production. ST Microelectronics itself has a chip manufacturing business, and it has to bow its head and hand over its chips to Chinese chip foundries, not to mention other chip companies. In fact, Chinese chip foundries have pointed out that the overseas chip orders they have received have been steadily increasing. Faced with the competition from Chinese chip foundries, Samsung, UMC, Global Foundries, etc., which have also developed mature processes, have to reduce the price of chip foundries by more than 10%, but foreign media reports pointed out that even if they reduce prices, the production cost is still higher than that of chip foundries in mainland China, causing them to lose more chip orders. This reality highlights that Chinese chips are becoming more and more powerful, and China's chip foundry is indeed growing and developing. China's largest chip foundry company SMIC has risen from the fifth to the third in the world. China previously had two chip foundries in the top ten in the world, and since last year, three Chinese chip foundries have entered the top ten. Facts have proved that China's chip manufacturing is developing rapidly. The gap between China and its overseas counterparts in technology is not large, and the cost is even more overwhelming. They will further increase their revenue by getting more orders, thereby providing support for chip technology research and development, accelerating the catch-up of global chip technology, shortening the gap with them, and even surpassing them in the future. In short, SD Microelectronics will hand over the production of automotive chips to Chinese foundries to reduce costs and cope with competition in the Chinese market, highlighting the rise of Chinese chip foundries. China's chip manufacturing is developing rapidly with obvious cost advantages and is accelerating to catch up with global technology.